SDXL Turbo. The generative AI world is changing a lot every day, every week, and now every seconds. You see, when two months ago we are still in the hype of SDXL, and today we are all hyped up about the SDXL Turbo, the fastest one-step generate AI image within a second. Some said it's like real-time updating an image, you typing prompts like you are drawing on an image in Comfy UI. So let's find out how we install and run this real-time prompting image AI model. SDXL Turbo Setup in Comfy UI. So, in order to start working with SDXL Turbo in Comfy UI, you'll need to update your Comfy UI. Because there are new Comfy nodes required for our SDXL Turbo workflow, it's important to update your Comfy UI as usual. Here's what you need to do. First, go to the Comfy UI Manager and click on Update Comfy UI. Wait for the update to complete and then restart your Comfy UI. Once you're done, you'll notice two new nodes, SD Turbo Scheduler and K Sampler Select. These nodes are crucial for working with SDXL Turbo. Now let's build our SDXL Turbo workflow. We'll start with a load checkpoint node and then connect the SD Turbo Scheduler with the checkpoint model. This is a simple text to image workflow, just like usual. We'll also need the sampler custom node to run the sampling steps. However, instead of using case sampler, we'll use the sampler custom to connect with our checkpoint model. We'll also need the positive and negative text prompts, and so on. In the SD Turbo Scheduler, we'll connect the sigmas to the sampler custom using the green dot. Additionally, we'll need to set a fixed seed number. Let's use a number and select fixed. For the CFG, we'll set it as 1 because we only need a fast sampling step. We don't require multiple steps here. Then, we'll connect the checkpoint models to the sampler custom using the purple dot. Let's tidy up the workflow nodes to keep things organized. Next, we'll add the text prompt, positive prompt, and negative prompt nodes. To make things easier to recognize, let's color code them. Green represents the positive prompt, while red represents the negative prompt. We'll connect these two nodes together with the sampler custom. For the output, we'll need a VAE decode, and we'll connect the checkpoint loader VAE to the VAE decode using the red dot. Let's tidy up the nodes to avoid clutter. We'll also need an empty latent image, and since we only need to generate one image at a time, we'll use a batch size of one. Then, we'll connect the latent image with the sampler custom. Lastly, we need to create another node for the sampler steps, which is the K sampler select. These are the custom nodes required for SDXL Turbo, and we'll set the CFG and steps in the SD Turbo Scheduler to 1. The beauty of SDXL Turbo is that we only need one step to create images, just like real-time prompt updating. Lastly, we need to connect the Preview Image node here. It's better to use the Preview node instead of the Save Image node, as it prevents your output folder from becoming flooded with images. When you find an image you like, you can manually right-click and save it. Next, we need to download the SDXL Turbo Checkpoint model. I have already downloaded it, and you can find the link in the description. Once you have downloaded the Checkpoint model, navigate to your Comfy UI folder. Then, go to the Models directory and locate the Checkpoint Models subfolder. For better organization, I personally prefer to separate the SD 1.5 SDXL and SVD folders. In this case, I'll place the SDXL Turbo Checkpoint model in the SDXL subfolder. That's it. Now, we can start writing prompts and using this workflow. Now let's go back to our workflow. We need to refresh it and you'll notice that our checkpoint models are now available in the Load Checkpoint drop-down menu. Here, we have successfully loaded the SDXL Turbo 1.0 checkpoint model. Now, let's organize the layout of the workflow diagrams for better clarity. Once that's done, we can proceed with the positive text prompt.
For this example, let's keep it simple. We'll use the prompt lion and try to generate some photos of African animals. Like a lion with a bear or maybe even a lion on a tree. Let's see how it turns out. Execute the text prompt, but please note that the first time you load the checkpoint models, it may take a while. Once it's done, you can generate images in real time. To do that, click on Extra Options and enable the Auto Queue checkbox. This will allow you to see the images refreshing in real time on the right side of the interface. Now, you can start typing different text prompts and the preview image will be generated based on your new prompt. Every second, you'll notice the cute size on the top menu switching between one and zero. This indicates that the system is continuously checking for new text prompts and generating new images accordingly. Think of it as a shortcut listener in games that triggers actions. In Comfy UI, whenever you type a new text prompt, the system generates a new image almost instantly, typically within one second or even half a second. For example, I switched the text prompt from lion to tiger and instantly a new image of a tiger on a tree appeared. Remember to use the preview image option and not the save image option as it avoids cluttering your output folder with a large number of images. Let's try another style. Let's say we want an image of a zombie in a zombie apocalypse setting. You can specify details like blue eyes. And just like that, you have a zombie image with blue eyes. You can explore different angles, such as a side view to see the zombie's face and the effects of the beat up skin. You can even specify that you want the character to wear a red dress. The possibilities are endless and you can experiment with various prompts to generate different images. So after we generate image and how can we enhance our SDXL Turbo image because there's less detail in there. So after that, just like my thumbnails, and the beginning of the intro image, we can start from the SDXL Turbo image like this. It doesn't have a lot of detail. It's just very low quality, I should say, because it's just one step, uh, sampling steps here. Then we will bring it to upscale image that I create. So in this latent upscale image, and also I'm using the 4X Ultra Sharp Upscaler to make a detailed image, better quality from this base image. So in this checkpoint models, I am using the ref vis. It's basically realistic visions in SDXL. And here we have upscale latent by, and I'm just upscaled by one. So exactly the same size of the original image. I just want to enhance the detail of it. So let it generate with more sampling step. Let's say I'm setting us 30 steps here and then using a normal case sampler. And there you have it. You got a very detailed, more detail, I should say. But then, it doesn't look like the same image as my original image from SDXL Turbo. Yeah, because we are setting the denoise strength as 1. So we have to set it back to 0.5 here. And let's see our output. Yes, we got it. So let's side-by-side -side comparison here. You see the SDXL Turbo image is kind of, well, not really good quality, I can say. And then the hair and the dress is kind of blur. And then compared with after latent upscaly, it improved a lot better. Look at the hair and then the pattern of the dress just helped the image to enhance it. And the water surface, it, the trees, the leaves saw the details going on. And then on the right side here, I got the 4X ultra sharp upscaler and it improved the image sharpness and the color of it. Yeah. So basically that is how we can use the SDXL turbo just like a real-time prompting and then get your ideally image structure. Once you like it, save that image as a source image and then we can bring it to upscaler or face detailer, any custom nodes that you can enhance image with more details. And that is it for this tutorial and I hope you guys like it. Try it out with yourself. It doesn't take too much computing power with this SDXL Turbo. Give it a try. I will see you guys on the next video. Have a nice day.